Welcome Storytellers! The Delaware County District Library is so glad to be with you. My name is Mr. George from the Delaware Main Library. Let's get started with story time. I want to show you some bagpipes. Hang on. Oh, here they are. Oh. <laughs> well, they're in this bag. It's a bagpipe in a bag. Let's build a set. Before we get playing, we need to build a bagpipe. Now this is called a Great Highland Bagpipe. It is one of the loudest bagpipes out there. It's got a lot of parts. It looks like an octopus in here. <laughs> well, let's put this together and we'll talk about what each piece is. <laughs> oh, these sticks here come together to make something called the drones. Now in bagpipes, you'll be hearing later, you'll be hearing a humming sound. Mmm. There are three drones on this bagpipe. One, two, three. Can you count that with me? One, two, three. Three drones. They play together. Mmm. And there's reeds inside of here that make that vibration as air goes through them to make a sound. Next, I need to put in something called a blowpipe. This is the pipe that you put air through to fill the bag up. Let's hear that. Oh, filling up with air. And let's hear the drones. Did you hear that? sound? You heard, you heard that? Well, that hum sound is what gives partially the bagpipe's special sound. Now, as, as I play and get it warmed up, you'll see my arm move in other bagpipes as well as this bagpipe. Well, let's add the sound of the bagpipe, the melody, where the melody's played. This is called the chanter. Now this chanter is where my fingers go and move and dance. Now let me show you the reed in which the air flows through and vibrates and makes a frequency sound. See there's the reed that goes in the bagpipe right here. And as I blow it up, as I blow it up, it plays together. Now the Great Highland bagpipes are very loud, so I'm going to play these Last, let's start with a quieter pipe. Here we have the Scottish small pipes. These are very quiet and comfortable to play. I love the challenge of playing different types of bagpipes. They are similar, but some of them are very different. Well, let's listen to a bagpipe. This is a small pipe. Hear the drones. The hmm. Can you hum with me? Hmm. And listen to the melody on the chanter. Let's listen. Did you hear that hum sound? You did. Oh, and you heard the -de 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 of the fingers. Well, what I love about bagpipes is they can play lots of different music. And many cultures throughout the world use different types of bagpipes and share their traditional tunes. Well, one thing I love about the bagpipe, it actually sounds very similar to a fife. And I love a tune called Shimmy She Wobble. It's her traditional African-American fife and drum tune by Otha Turner. And it goes like this. <laughs> well, let's 
play that on the bagpipes. At the same time, I'm going to record myself. I'm going to have a duet later on. <laughs> oh, let's play that on the Scottish small pipes. Here we go. Well, let me play that with myself. I'm going to duet and play along with this recording. Listen for the harmonies. Those are two sounds that sound pleasant or sweet together. Their frequencies dance together. Let's listen. Here we go. Let's share some books. If you're interested in bagpipes or interested in cultures, I, I, I brought some books that I really like. Well, I enjoy bagpipes, and one of my favorite stories that features a bagpipe is called Wee Gillis by Monroe Leaf, illustrated by Robert Lawson. This book is about a young person that's growing, and they must choose, will they live up high in the highlands or live in the lowlands? And, well, maybe they'll find their own way. And spoiler alert, there's a big bagpipe part. <laughs> there's a bagpipe scene in the book. I love it. That is really fun. Well, check this book out. It's called Wee Gillis. If you enjoy bagpipes, you'll really enjoy this story. And of course, S is for shamrock. Oh, well, this book might share a little bit more about why so many people wear green this month and why you hear bagpipes and other music as well. Well, oh, well, I wanted to share one part that's important to me. In the alphabet book under W, W is for writers. There are so many writers that it's hard to name them all. How could they have fitted in a country that's so small? <laughs> well, there are many famous authors and poets from Ireland. Well, check this book out. S is for Shamrock. Moving on to a little bit louder bagpipe. Let me get one that's called the border pipe. Let's get this one. Now you'll notice this bagpipe looks very similar, doesn't it? To the Great Highland bagpipe and the small pipes. Here's the chanter, which your fingers move, and here's the bag, which you put air in, and the drones are right here, and that makes that humming sound. Well, let's listen closely and see if you can hear that humming sound and the -da 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 of the chanter.
Wow, that was a little louder, wasn't it? And throughout the world, there are lots of different types of bagpipes. Well, I want to learn more about Ireland again and other countries. Well, hang on. Let's share one of my favorite databases I love to show children and adults. It's called Culture Grams. And I printed out this whole report chock full of great information about Ireland. And it's up to date. So you can find this at DelawareLibrary.org under our research section. It's called Culture Grams. Oh, well, let's learn a little bit. There's, I see some green here. It says the green on the flag stands for Gaelic traditions. Oh, do you see this flag here? This is the flag of Ireland. Green, white, and orange. Oh, the orange represents followers of William of Orange. Interesting. Oh, and there's white in the center. Oh, to symbolize peace between these two traditions. How interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Their national instrument or national image is the harp. See that image there? The harp. That's another musical instrument. Oh, wow. It talks, it's maps and other cool facts. Oh, it, there's a section on music. Oh, wow. There's lots of different unique instruments like whistles and bottoms and that's like a, a drum and tin whistles and oh Irish fiddle huh well, I'd like to learn more oh I've got a special guest her name is Charlene Adzema she is a Irish fiddler she is encouraging the tradition of Irish fiddling and other fiddling and violin music well, Charlene, thank you so much. Take it away and share more about the Irish fiddle. Thanks, George. Good to see you, buddy. George and I went to school at the College of Worcester a long, long time ago, and uh, we've kept in touch. Uh, we did a lot of um, you know, Scottish and Irish music playing, and uh, he plays pipes, as I'm sure you know, and I play fiddle. Now, I've been playing fiddle for almost 30 years now, and I have uh, grew up in Columbus, Ohio, and I've gone to the Dublin Irish Festival just about every year since around 1997. Uh, so maybe I could play a couple of tunes for you. Uh, George suggested that we find something about St. Patrick's Day and talking about Ireland, which you know is that adorably cute green country across the Atlantic Ocean, right? And uh, they've got the most brilliant dances and tunes, and all the tunes um, go with specific dances. And I'm going to play you one right now. Uh, the dance is called St. Patrick's Day, which is a set dance, uh, meaning that kids will uh, dance a certain way to it, like certain steps to it. And it's got notes that go with those steps. So here we go, St. Patrick's Day. tunes out there right like I'm sure you've heard of jigs and maybe you've even heard of reels and here's the funny thing um, when you first start listening to Irish music it all sounds the same it really does and then when you start learning a little bit more about it everything starts sounding a little different noticeably different um, and here I am going to give you a little lesson on how to tell some tunes apart so if you listen to St. Patrick's Day, and I know I told you it was a set dance, but it's also, it's also a jig. And you'll know a jig because you can say dinosaur to it. Dinosaur, 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 dinosaur. All right, 
How much fun is that? Um, the other kind of tune that we like to play a lot are reels. And reels are, um, instead of three notes, sorry, instead of three notes to a beat, they're four notes to a beat. So you can say alligator with those. Alligator, 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 alligator. <laughs> be time to have a little bit of a tune quiz okay and um, I'll tell mr. George what the answers are I won't um, betray them here right now so here we go here's tune number one <laughs> Uh, here comes tune two. Remember alligator or dinosaur, right? Okay, so. then. Um, my name is Charlene Adzema and um, I want to say thank you Mr. George for having me here. Um, now back to you. Thank you Charlene for sharing traditions of Irish fiddle. Let's get back to bagpipes. Here we have as I mentioned earlier the Great Highland bagpipe with the three drones and the blow pipe the air goes in the bag of air and of course the chanter with the melody listen closely you might know this tune One moon and one golden sun And a smile means friendships for everyone Though the mountains divide And the oceans are wide It's a small world after all It is a small world after all I have the, the, the word here Bagpipe B-A-G P-I-P-E, one word. Well, this is how we say it. But others might have a different name. In Germany, they call it the Dudelzak. In Spain, they call it the Geitje. Other countries, Northern, Northern Africa, in Egypt. Yeah. Oh, they have a tradition of bagpipes as well. And many other countries. I love researching and looking into other countries and their cultures and traditions. 
this great series by Pebble Plus. Let's look at Egypt. What other countries are there? There's so many countries and nations. This one's called Let's Look at Nigeria. I wonder what musical traditions are there. Let's look at Russia. Another one by Pebble Plus. Let's look at Mexico. Now, there are so many different types of bagpipe music and fiddle music and fife music and flute music and, well, violin. Lots of different music out there. And that's the joy of research, looking into things. Just like I'd love for you to research, look around, find things that are green. Oh, like the green in the Irish flag. Oh, interesting. The Emerald Isle. Oh, green. Like this balloon and this frog. And oh, what does that look like? A green tree. Oh, and a shamrock, of course. Well, as you research and learn and look into other countries and their traditions, what's so wonderful is that we see them all around us. People celebrating their heritage. And that, I think, is a wonderful thing. Investigate and learn and respect others' cultures. Thank you for spending your time with us today. Be sure to check out DelawareLibrary.org to learn more about new cultures to you. It is healthy to learn about other heritage and other cultures and other nations throughout the world. That way we can better understand and know each other. Storytellers, keep reading, keep sharing the love of music, the love of storytelling, and of course, the love of the library. See you in the library soon.